We will start the regular press conference by Minister Motegi. He has other appointment. This is going to be a very short press conference. Thank you for your cooperation. I have two points to make. First of all, about emergency grant aid cooperation to Afghanistan and surrounding countries. In Afghanistan, since the fall of Kabul on August 15th, humanitarian situation continues to deteriorate, including lack of food, and internally displayed persons are increasing rapidly. Due to the worsening situation in Afghanistan, there are concerns about large inflows of refugees into neighboring countries. Based on these circumstances and in response to uh, the United Nations emergency appeal, as of today, the government of Japan has decided to assist Afghanistan and neighboring countries and has decided to offer a total of $65 million of emergency grant aid through international organizations. This has been officially decided. This means that Japan's total assistance to Afghanistan will reach approximately $200 million before the end of this year. The government of Japan will continue to offer support, which responds to the real needs of the Afghan people. The next point, which is about provision of vaccines, regarding additional a provision of vaccines to Taiwan. Having completed the preparation tomorrow on the 27th, 300,000 doses of AstraZeneca vaccines will be provided to Taiwan. With the latest uh, provision, the total amount of vaccines from Japan to Taiwan will reach 4.2 million doses. In addition to the already provided 4 million doses each to Vietnam and Indonesia. The total amount of vaccines Japan has provided to 20 countries and regions will be approximately 30 million doses. This would be the third largest amount of donation in the world. I hope that vaccines from Japan will continue to contribute to the prevention or spread of COVID-19 infections in respective countries and regions. That is my initial remarks. We will take questions. If you have a question, please raise your hand. And when you're called, please proceed to the microphone. State your name and affiliation before asking your question. Watanabe-san, please. NHK, Watanabe. China and Russia, their uh, military vessels, uh, battleships, uh, have uh, been traveling around Japan, the Sea of Japan. And uh, I think it's a part of a check and balance uh, against uh, Japan, but uh, the fact that uh, Russia is uh, operating jointly uh, with uh, China, I don't think gives a good impression. Uh, and so after the election under the uh, Kishida cabinet, what kind of impact will it have uh, for the negotiations uh, between uh, Japan and Russia? Uh, with regards to a uh, passage of uh, Tsugaru and uh, Osumi Straits uh, by uh, Russian and uh, Chinese vessels simultaneously, this is the very first time that we're experiencing this and uh, uh, activities by uh, the Navy vessels of uh, China and uh, Russia in the seas around Japan uh, is uh, something that we are watching very closely uh, with high interest. And uh, we have expressed our concerns through diplomatic channels to both the Chinese and the Russian side. We will continue to monitor the situation. And this uh, is an issue, uh, but separate from that, uh, between Japan and Russia, uh, there are various issues, such as territorial issues, that we need to negotiate. And therefore, negotiations will take place. And uh, the fact that the negotiations will go on has been agreed upon. And therefore, we will continue to, uh, continue to make that effort in that regard. Oh, I have some time. Further questions, please? If not, we will conclude the press conference. Thank you.